For those who think the doings of groups such as those Emil Kierkegaard and Andrew Conroy and others have seem to have have seemed to have allegedly some association with let me no I'll be chucking that word in allegedly because I know these groups and I know their their games if anyone says anything without chucking that in here is an article from the guardian from a, a few days ago race science groups say they access sensitive UK health data that's how a data that's your data my data and everybody living in the UK's Exclusive fringe network recorded boasting of securing data from UK biobank trove donated by 500,000 volunteers. So that's t- potentially data belonging to half a million people. Or let us put it this way, slightly less than 1% of the hu- of everybody living in Britain. Not particularly lovely to think of. Fringe researchers advocating nefarious theories that intelligence based on race have obtained data from a trove of sensitive health information donated by half a million British volunteers, according to undercover footage. Recordings made by the anti-racism campaign group Hope Not Hate show members of a race science network discussing UK biobank data they claim to have accessed. Some of the group have been blacklisted on the facility on the grounds they are not bona fide academics, but the photo suggests they may have circumvented its controls. It shows them saying they obtain a large haul of the data, one of their associates acknowledges they are not meant to have that. Founded in 2003 by the Department of Health and Medical Research, charities UK Biobanks hold the genetic information, survey responses, blood samples, and medical records of 500,000 volunteers. The information it holds has been used to shed light, new light on diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and other illnesses. UK Biobank says products using its data must be in the public interest. Participants give consent for their information to be used, but I doubt that most of them would want people like Emil Kierkegaard or the foundations he's connected with to be mucking about with it. Until recently, rather than having to use a bank's own platform, approved researchers were free to download data sets onto their own systems. Researchers signed a contract, undertaking not to share data without authorization. The footage raises questions about whether the cons- controls have been sufficient. I would say probably not. This shocking news suggests uh, an appalling failure of governance at multiple levels, said Katie Bramall Stanier, who is representative of GPs in the BMA Doctors Union, wants tighter control on health data. Questions now need to be answered by UK Biobank and NHS England around how, when, where, why, with whom, and for what purpose confidential data was shared. The group of race science researchers, which claims to have obtained UK Biobank, is led by Emil Kierkegaard. And we'll be going into detail on a meal, I think, as he keeps popping up. I'll run through his background. He keeps popping up in relation to so many of these groups that it's worth uh, talking about him a little bit more. And the so-called Human Diversity Foundation, which, by the way, since all this sprang sprang up, the Human Diversity Foundation's website is basically, at this moment, just a one-page say, we are not looking for funding or interested in any at the moment, and that's it. All other details have been scrubbed, scrubbed ruthlessly clean, and that's it, which is quite interesting. Kierkegaard is a named author of more than 40 papers published in the journal Mankind Quarterly. And I advise those who have an interest in this sort of topic to go and look at the journal Mankind Quarterly. You can imagine its researchers measuring cranial, the differences of craniums or uh, publishing those lovely pictures you get in catalogues of racial differences from the Victorian era. It's a long-standing outlet for race science theories. The topics of Kierkegaard's inquiries included whether black Americans earn less than white Americans because of average intelligence. And it has a particular fascination with comparing penis size. It seems totally obsessed with that. Testicle size and breast buttock preference by race. An attempt to show them Ben work, those with Muslim names have lower IQs. All strikes me as pseudoscience of the... um, Finest kind, but there, there you go. Mentioning that, here's Open Psych, is an online collection of three pseudoscientific open access journals covering behavioural genetics, psychology, and quantitative research in sociology. Many articles on Open Psych promote scientific racism. Now, Emil Kierkegaard seems to be linked to so much of this stuff that I think it's... Fair to say that he, as I say, he deserves his own little video and 
some research on his background, which seems quite interesting, shall we say. He seemed worryingly linked to a lot of this stuff, like he's a chief mover and shaker behind the scenes.